And this now shows the muscle oxygen saturation in percent from zero, which would be no oxygen in the muscle, to 100 percent, which is total saturation of hemoglobin in the muscle. And here, again, with the deltoid, we see some movement with the various exercises, but basically staying all up around 70 percent saturated, which is very well saturated. はい、でこれはあの筋肉の,その酸素のです、ね、飽和度を示しています、あのヘモグロビン飽和度を示しているんですけれども、エクササイズをするところでその上下の動きがあるもののです、ね、全体的には 70% の飽和、非常に低いあの酸素飽和を示しています。はい、で今度左の双腕筋の動きを見ていきます。右の設定は変えていくんですけれども、左は最初の設定のままです。And what we see here with the total hemoglobin in the, in the muscle is that basically with each time there is exercise,、uh, we have an increase in the total hemoglobin in the, in, in the left bicep, and then when you stop exercising, it comes back down, and this is 25 reps and another 25 reps and 25 and 25, 25. And then this is where we went to failure, which was about 50 to 60 repetitions. はい、でこれがあの筋肉内の,そのヘメクロビンの,あの動きなんですけれども、エクササイズするたびにこの HB の値が上がっているのが、これ、左の双腕筋ですけれども、でそれをやめるとです、ね、またあの下がってくるというのが分かると思います。And you see it has a normal value at rest, which is about 60 to 70. And then with exercise, it goes down into the middle 30s. And then when you stop exercising, it goes back up to normal, and then basically back and forth. One of the things to note here is that gradually over time, as the muscle is doing more and more exercise,、uh, it does a better job of oxygenating. はい、で今度はあの筋肉の Of the hemoglobin in the muscle is saturated with oxygen. はい、でこれ酸素飽和度を追っていってますけれども、安静時60から 70%、でエクササイズ、運動するごとにあの上下しています、でだんだんエクササイズがこう進んでいくと、あの組織に酸素を運ぶあの効率が上がってきます、そしてあの振れ幅が小さくなっていきます、でこの間、左腕に違和感はありませんが、運動をやめると、そのリカバリーの,あの効果が、その血流がその戻ってです、ね、80から 85% というふうになっているのが分かると思います。So now, so we've had this muscle which is no katsu and not active. Now we've had this one which is no katsu but active. And now we'll look at the data from this sensor, this MOXIE sensor, which is distal to the katsu cuff, so it, it, its blood flow is impeded. And also, this muscle is exercising and doing the arm curls. はい、で先ほどは一番上のところはその、えっと、カーツなし、アクティブ。あ So, no cuts, no active is the first one, right? はい、カーツなしあのアクティブでもないのが一番最初でその次はカーツなしアクティブというもので最後にですねあのカーツで血流制限をかけているところを見ていきます。So、here we have the total hemoglobin in this muscle and it's, it's the same as in the other muscles but basically each time you exercise there's more, more hemoglobin that goes into the muscles and then goes back and forth and、uh, Uh, then is, is finished over time. But one of the things with respect to this, and it's a little hard, I wasn't able to do it, but if I, had, if I could superimpose the left bicep on here, the amount of increase in the muscle、uh, in total hemoglobin would have been less when there is no katsu belt. でカーツベルトをつけていないときにはです、ね、左の双腕筋の,そのトータルヘモグロビンがあの低いです。Here is the uh, oxygen saturation of the muscle、um, with the uh, uh, katsu on the right bicep where the katsu belt is at these different pressures. And let's take a little time to、uh, look at these graphs. 
So here we start out at normal and uh, no exercise, but uh, we have turned on the, we have put the uh, katsu belt at fitting pressure, and that causes a little drop in the uh, oxygen saturation, uh, but there's clearly no distress in, in, uh, in the muscle here. And then we do 25 reps of exercise, and what we see is that the uh, oxygen in the muscle drops down into, instead of the mid-30s, it's now down in the mid-20s when uh, that, that is a, uh, the katsu belt is applied and exercise is done. はい。で、えっと、次はですね、こちら、あの、筋肉の筋肉中のそのベルトの、あの、圧をあの、触れさせて、あの、変動しながら見ていっているものです。あの、正常の状態でエクササイズなしからカーツベルトをオンします。そう